feel like uh, all kids are like that too. It's like <laughs> the most fucking like first world problems of a child. Well, Travis down the road has an Xbox 360 and he's playing Lost Planet. And I'm still playing <laughs> Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. I look like a fucking loser. <laughs> You know, uh, me and Hunter did shop talk without you, Tom, on the Cream Crew Premium episode that's exclusively for Patreon subscribers. And we did the got a whole lot of positivity. So either oh, either the good. either the silent majority is very silent, or people like shop talk. I don't know. Well, I might be biased, but I did see a lot of complaints about shop talk, so. I don't know. Kind of a he said, she said scenario. I think there I think there was a lot more he saying than she saying. From okay, what I saw. That was very clever. I thought so. Thank you. Well, you know what? Um now that Cream Crew is a legitimate business that needs to diversify, uh, I feel like you guys, if you want to do shop talk, you know what? Go ahead. A little additional thing for the patrons. A little extra shop talk every week. What do you think? Uh, probably, ha, you don't believe in it that much, do you? Well, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not crazy. I'm not insane. Hunter, you're unusually uh, quiet. Well, I was going to ask Hunter. I watched Bo is Afraid last night, and I wondered what Hunter thought of it. How much did you hate it? Uh, probably thirty to forty percent hate. There Could have been a is. lot worse. How much did you hate it? I think the... I'm feeling like Hunter didn't hate it. No, I liked it for what it was. I think the first half of the movie is extremely funny and uh, very well, like, directed. And I think it's unironically, like, a super funny movie. And then, uh, like, as soon as he gets to the festival, or, like, the outdoor festival thing, the movie just goes very surreal. And it just is basically a movie made just for Ari Aster. And it's like really, 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 uh, yeah, just like surreal, trippy, super artsy and stuff. And <clears throat> so in a way, I like it um, not so much for the clarity of what the message of the movie is supposed to be or anything, but more so the idea of just like somebody being like, I just don't care. I'm going to make it. With <laughs> millions and millions of other people's dollars. <laughs> Exactly. That's what makes they, it even better. They did not make back. No. Yeah, no, I think I made a loss. Well, thanks for letting me get my word in. Feel a little better now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> what's, up, what's up, Hunter? You're not your usual self. What's going on? I'm just chilling. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, no, I'm just chilling. I, to I, just, I, I honestly don't. I also can't participate too much. In the, I've only seen Bo's Afraid, I think, like maybe once or twice, and it's been out for like a year or something. So uh, I just haven't really. Oh, it's been I just haven't really, in the old brain. I yeah, I just don't really like. I remember it, but at the same time, it's not like I was like super enthralled by it. I just like the base level of it was just I like, was happy that the, a thing like that could even get made. Yeah. What like, would, it, what would that would be your version of that if you. Uh, if you can make a fuck you movie, it's just for you. It's probably going to cost the, you know your investors significant funds. Sixty million dollars and make nine <clears> in the box <throat> office. Uh, I have no idea. I don't even know. I feel like I don't. I don't think I'm artistic enough to have that kind of like weird, profane like this thing is like super close to me idea. I feel like I'd just make like a shitty movie that wouldn't cost any money anyways. And then people would just yeah, be like, Freddy oh. Got no, I think Freddy Got Fingered is too smart, even. I think Freddy <laughs> Got Fingered is Tom Green telling the studios, go fuck yourself. So you'd literally, you just make like a film about. I would make a worse version of. Yeah, yeah, I would do that. <clears throat> but it's just, it's just like a 90. How long is a basketball game? Uh, like two, I don't know, like two, three hours. I think I don't know. There you how go. Long, so you literally, it's just a whole. That's all that the film is. Yeah, I, I would just record really a youth league basketball game. That'd be my my movie. Yeah, and I would just pocket all of the money. I was like, wow, 
You could probably trick enough people into going to that with some like advertising, right? Yeah, this is him saying, talking about, you know, like uh, colonization or some <laughs> shit. God. <laughs> God. God, you're right. You could make that movie and say it's about that and it would fucking get like an Oscar nomination. Of course. Yeah. Watch this. Uh, I like this director named Mike Haneke. Um, and he had a movie in 2005 called Cache, and it's all about, uh, it's all about like colonization. And it's also about this, like, uh, it's kind of like hiding from your history's, like your, uh, your country's past, I guess, like the misdeeds of like your country and how some people, um, get to benefit from colonization and some people don't get a benefit from colonization. It's just kind of about that, but it's a, <clears throat> it was kind of an interesting movie just about, uh, a guy just receiving like tapes in the mail of like somebody's recording him, but th- you never really know who it is. And I don't know. It's an artsy thing. Michael, Michael Haneke does a lot of movies like that where it's like the movies don't ever really have like a, like a fucking like, like a, not like a whodunit ending, but it's just kind of a, he makes movies where you're just like, Oh, the movie's over. My favorite is the woman King, which is, <laughs> A really good movie about colonization. The Woman King. I don't think I've ever heard yeah. of it. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's about is that a real, it's a is that a real thing. That, yeah, it came out recently, right? And it's uh, it's all about basically this tribe in Africa where uh, I oh, fucking this up a bit. Isn't where, it where, like the, it, I thought? It, I thought it was a Marvel movie at first. It it read like uh, what, Wakanda. Like, Wakanda. It, it, literally, it literally did though. <laughs> when I was like, when I saw the, the previews for, I I literally thought it was because there's even in Black Panther, there's a character like that. So yeah. I was like, oh, is this a spinoff? Black like, woman. yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, no, but it was a uh, with a spear. The pre. It was a uh, Marvel. <laughs> no, it was the the uh, the backstory. What the fuck is it? Like a like a, it was like a high up pre like a high up warrior chick. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Well, that, I mean, it, it could, it could just the, be my racist brain, but I really did. Just, I thought I thought it was a Marvel thing, and then when I didn't yeah. see the Marvel credits, I was like, oh, really? And I didn't Black know. Panther, I didn't even know this. The is... Woman King. <laughs> You're like, wow, Marvel's getting tasteful. They didn't do the comic thing at the beginning, where it's like, I was I was plum surprised. Was plum well, surprised. You'll be even more plum surprised about the real history of that whole thing. Cause the way they portray it in that film is that the woman king is just some like fucking glorious resistance, like throwing off the shackles of slavery. But in real life, that African tribe was like aggressively enslaving the other African tribes and trying to obviously like sell them in the slave trade. And the British fucking blockaded that shit. And we're like, no, you can't do that. And instead, we got a film that's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you shut down there, fucking, slavery. Like, go, go, yeah, like, go, mm-hmm. women. Woman I, remember King. I, re- I remember, I really, it's fuck, it's I remember, I cool. really hated the trailer. I thought the trailer <laughs> sucked. That's you know, just... you're like, where's Iron Man? This is fucking <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> I was more so just like, why is it was like the same feeling I had when there was like, uh, it was just like a weird. I, don't know, I can't. I fucking. I really can't remember. I don't know. I but I I, w- I was very surprised when I was like, this isn't a fucking. This isn't the Marvel movie. I I legitimately thought it was just the, a Marvel movie. You know, no yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking um, what is it? The Avengers, like Horn of Africa. That'd be sick. Have they ever made a movie about Genghis Khan? I mean, I'm sure they have, but has there ever been like a recent one or a good one about it? Um, any idea? How do the Chinese feel? No, well, like a, like a sick. How do the Chinese feel? Probably not great. Well, but he also probably defines, not swell. Literally defines their entire race. I think right. it'd be an interesting story to see. I, I I don't feel like I have the credentials to answer that question. Well, that's I believe if they've ever made know, a I'm movie. Or in, no, but Don says like, didn't Genghis Khan define like the entire Chinese race? I think I, what well, you're saying though is like that's that's why Asian that's where the term massive amount the there's Caucasoid, you know, blah, 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 and Mongoloid, and that's, you know, Mongol, as in... <laughs> no, the Mongols came into China and raped the fuck out of the continent. And now, and now, like, uh... 
I thought yeah, Genghis Khan was smart too, though. He was just like, by that very small gene pool that was propagated massively. You know, wasn't like he like? Years I thought later. that he, I thought that he was kind of smart and he, like he was so pro like. He was so prolific with it because he didn't really give a shit about what people believed in. He was just like, you just have to like bow to me, kind of. You just thing. have to let me coom in your women. And Pretty like, much, yeah. Do whatever you want. Kids apart ever. from that, well, what's that crazy statistic? Don't they say that like how many percentage that's what of people? About. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking insane. Like one in five or some crazy shit of, of like Asian people have fucking Genghis Khan's DNA in them. It's kind of a shame. Like it's kind of like reminds me of uh, when people thought that whenever Image Comics are new and people were like, I'm going to buy a bunch of the issue ones because they're going to be valuable. And it's just like, no, there's so many of them that... Oh, know. I get what you're saying. Like, the bloodline <laughs> yeah, I mean, is, like, so common. Where it sh- it not- should be cool that you, <laughs> that you ha- you know, are, have your his blood in you, but no, nah, it's like, eh, kind of everybody does, dude. Yeah, that's like if you were like, oh, I'm descended from George Washington, but, like, you know, one in every three Americans was or whatever, you'd be like, okay, big deal. Yeah, who gives a <laughs> shit, dude? Aren't we all? Like, who gives a fuck? I mean, I yeah. as for the rest of the Mongols, I think that's also the contribution, but Genghis Khan alone has 16 million ancestors alive today. The ultimate kuma, dude. You kind of you kind of got to root for him a bit, it's don't crazy. you? I mean, you know, through it was all through con- conquest and rape and stuff. But well, here we, yeah, well here we go. 10 other men that rival his legacy. I wonder who else is a big kuma. Gene Simmons, number 2. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> for real. It'd be funny. That'd be that'd be a cute Disney Marvel movie, Genghis Khan. Yeah, that would be cute. When and I was a kid, a I always thought the guy in Mulan also. was Genghis Khan, but he's someone else. I thought that too. Yeah, <laughs> it, I mean, it makes sense. Not even the same invaders. They're the Huns instead of the Mongols. But I just thought there was. The isn't that hey? Isn't that the same goddamn thing? Not I don't know. Sound, I, you know. I'm not sure. Well, I thought that. I thought that uh, the only reason. I, I did, didn't he call them the Hun or something like that? Yeah, the which Huns. is kind of like similar. I think it's like a similar name. When I was younger, I was to like, I defeat. Just, the Hun. Mm-hmm. Isn't that what yeah. it is? Yeah. Okay, let's that? find out. Are the Huns Mongols? Oh, okay. They're a distinct people. Whatever, dude. <laughs> yeah. you, the Mongols unified in Mongolia during the early 13th century and quickly established the world's largest ever continuous land empire. Yeah, okay. Don't fucking count the sea so you can pad your record. We all know who really had the biggest empire. In contrast, the Huns invaded Europe in the 4th century AD. Huh. Is that why we call the Germans the Hun? Do we do that? Well, maybe you don't. Do you call the Germans the Hun? The British called the Germans the Hun for a long time. Oh, I had no idea. Never heard that in my life. Yeah, isn't history crazy? They were doing silly invasion stuff. Yeah, we literally... That's true. Our... uh, that's one thing about American history that's really funny is like all of our American history books, the font is so big to make the book look a lot thicker. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was a tea party and it's like that's six pages. You're like, what? <laughs> well, you, you know, I'm trying to count. That's, you could probably count all the major, like the really major events on like two hands. It's more so, yeah, we just, it's like, it, we pad a lot about it, our, uh, we pad, we pad a lot of time in our, uh, in our books with, like, very specific details of, like, battles and shit. Yeah. Is what I kind of, is what I kind of remember. Hey, we even learned a bit of American history in fucking secondary school in the UK. God knows why. What did you have very to Very odd thing to learn about. What was, like, it was just, like, I'm guessing, is it just World War Two shit or whatever? <clears throat> nah, nah, we don't. It was, uh, it was, it was more Cold War stuff. Oh God, I don't even did, but I don't even think I learned about anything Cold War related. Well, the Cold War was Hunter when America and Russia didn't like each other very much, and which is always, all, yeah, which is which is really is which just is forever, which is literally <laughs> every single time ever except when i'm pretty sure putin has like hard drives of like donald trump like having sex with children or something because they were really good friends for some reason okay well maybe he was just like an effective leader and was bringing the world together under a banner of unity and peace yeah there you go (laughs) putin you're great you're good you're a good guy i don't what's your putin voice i don't think i got one 
Thank you, Mr. Twab. <laughs> Thank you. I'm uh, going uh, to uh, leave Quimera <laughs> alone, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I I I, I wish so <laughs> desperately that's what he sounded like. Thank you, yeah. Mr. Trump. I cannot believe that we have become friends. That's what, that's what I like to think he sounds like. Thank you, Mr. Trump. I cannot believe we became friends. God, he's such a strong man. God, he's a leader. <laughs> God, that man can lead. <laughs> God, this guy can lead a country. He's in his fucking little judo outfit. Mr. Trump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't Vladimir Putin like like five foot two or something like that? He's like a t- he's yeah, like a Tom. Think of, yeah, think of the fucking punch he packs though for such yeah, exactly. a little man. Yeah, he's a little fucking Nerf football. <laughs> yeah, brother. Fuck yeah. Good for him. Do you, do you know what? I bet you know that. I bet you. I bet you. I bet. I. I I bet I could kill you in one punch, Mr. I Trump. I bet I could hip toss you right now. <laughs> ah! oh my God, I bet that I so could incredible. totally make your face explode with one punch, <laughs> Mr. Trump. I believe it. You could try. You got, yeah, okay, he's just into it. <laughs> yeah, fine, fuck it, yes. <laughs> Please, Edvi. I bet you I could totally eat more I could eat more heads of cabbage than you, Mr. Trump. That's fine. I just want a cheeseburger. I don't want heads of lettuce. Yeah, I would. I, I would These are the I, people I, you guys had a nuclear <laughs> arms race with. Yeah. <laughs> we totally have those bumps and subtle mountains here, I swear to God. <laughs> that Putin so dastardly. <laughs> He's such an effective leader. <laughs> what oh, if crazy. I totally gave you a Charlie horse right in the second? No, don't do that, please. <laughs> yes, David. Stop giving me a Charlie horse. Trump's just playing. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm in this version. To me, Trump is uh, he's just playing on like a Game Boy SP. <laughs> oh my God! Don't do that. Stop. Yeah, he's still talking about it like it's new technology. Like you, you don't have, yeah. to, you know, the, you don't have the it's same a, problems. It's a, it's a Dragon Ball Z there. game on the Game Boy Advance called Trump, Trunks' Legacy or something. It's really pretty sweet. What was the? I remember. I feel like Dragon Ball Z has some fucking sweet games on the uh, Game Boy Advance. Am I wrong? What the fuck was that game called? You know what I'm talking about? Did you guys ever play that? I'm sure. I didn't have a Game Boy Advance. Oh really? I was so stoked on the PSP or the fucking uh, SP. I had was super I, super stoked. I had the I had a Game Boy Color and then I didn't have another handheld until I got like a PSP. I traded a signed Albert Pujols card for a PSP with no games and just one copy of Saw Two. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a good trade because I have. Oh, no it wasn't. It, it wasn't that the Albert Pujol that, that that the the card is worth so much more than <laughs> than the PSP. What was the card? How much? A was signed Albert Pujols card. How much was it worth? It's probably worth. I'd say like it's probably worth like over probably it's probably worth over like fifteen hundred bucks now. Ah, worth it. When you're a kid and you just you got a shiny PSP, you just had to give away like a little piece of fucking card. My dad was it. my dad was so oh, disappointed was in me. Funny. Well, my grandpa, <laughs> my uh, Albert Pujols, for some reason went to a community college in Kansas City called Maple Woods. And my grandpa was an assistant baseball coach there for a little bit. So that's why he knew him. And I was able to like get this car signed back in the day, um, which I got signed whenever he went to the pros. But still, we I was able to do that just because he knew my my grandpa, whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, he, my, my my dad, when I told him, I'm like, yeah, I did this. He was just like, you did what? He's like, <laughs> God, Why? I was like, I don't know, because I love pussy and money and power. <laughs> well, yeah, we're, I mean, you t- t- certainly traded it for all three of those things when you got a PSP. <laughs> it's true. Every girl was just like goopy wet at school. I was like, do you right. see my sweet PSP? That's what, how old would that make them? 14? Probably fucking younger than that. I do remember feeling resentful of, of the school. kids with PSPs, like they were the rich kids. 
it probably wasn't even true. We were just spoiled. But Don, you had PSP. every toy in all of existence. I didn't have PSP, <laughs> and I didn't get a Wii you, year one. I had to wait like five years. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get a Wii. Damn, it really, was, it really was fucking hard knocks growing up, huh? That was rough. <laughs> I didn't daddy, have a Wii no, year that, one. Cause, cause daddy no, because daddy didn't did get me the Wii then, year you, one. You like you you kind of approximate how big the console box is supposed to be, you know? And then at Christmas you're looking for that fucking box under the tree. Like and yeah. It's so common are... that you're getting consoles, you're like looking for the console box. <laughs> the right yeah, size the, box. Uh, yeah. He's you're the Dudley, fucking, uh, dude from Harry Potter. No, no, no. He's not Dudley. He's the fucking <laughs> he's the white bitch in Willy Wonka. Daddy, I want yeah. this. Where oh, like yeah. Veronica Flowers, right? Is that her name? Mm. Yeah, and my it's dad is her dad. Yeah, sure. well, darn it, I see. I, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Why don't you just give him the Wii? <laughs> like <a> Toys R Us <laughs> or whatever. You guys, like, we don't have any more. We can't sell any. Well, I don't see why if I put this hundred dollar bill in your pocket, why you couldn't go in the back and find one. Yes. I'm in my head. It's like the same actor that played Dudley's dad. Yeah, it does feel that way. I think it's just because they're both British. Okay, well, let's not <laughs> let's not take it there. That's what I did. I fucking took it there, mate. Oh, that is it. Yeah, actually, my, do you know what? That my, my, the only reason I got a PSP is because my mate's fucking grandma bought me one. I went on holiday with their family. That's awesome. In like Tenerife. Well, grandma, you want Thomas? Shop. Yeah, she's just like, I'll give you a, I'll give you a PSP, a Dragon Ball Z, Budokai. You're like, you're like, like, what? You're like, you're like, you're like, Putin, what are you doing here? I will also <laughs> like to get a free PSP. <laughs> I, I am a good capitalist system, but I will get you a piece. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to play Grand Theft Auto on my PSP. <laughs> I would love very much so to play Grand Theft Auto on my PSP. <laughs> Vladimir Putin, you really, are, you really are a patron saint. You know that. Hey, my favorite, my favorite movie of all time is X Men Three: Last Stand. My favorite movie ever. <laughs> what? Yeah, wait, what? This is his favorite, this is his favorite movie. What was your favorite movie? <laughs> it's my favorite movie ever. What could I do? I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. It's like it was said. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I sure hope that guy never invades your friend. <laughs> yeah. Boy. <laughs> Boy, I hope that guy doesn't have any inkling of power. Yeah, this is actually Vladimir Putin. He's not even in politics. He's just a guy who works at Toys R Us. This is a crazy toy. I like to think he has the same problem as the father in Toy Soldiers or Small Soldiers. Yeah, he's running a toy shop. It's going out but of business. He won't, he's he won't like, order in the buy PSPs, toys anymore. Isn't it? Nobody it's wants like, to buy traditional toys anymore. Nobody wants to buy wooden horse where it's a broomstick with the horse head at the end that you ride. You fuck ride <laughs> all it. He sounds Scandinavian. <laughs> no, I, I think he sounds more French. I feel like I'm making him too French. It doesn't matter. I, I kind of like that he doesn't even sound Russian. Um, yeah, well, yeah. Sorry, go on. What is it? Seesaw? Is that a thing? A seesaw? What's the one where it's like you, you? It's the fake horse, not the broomstick one, but it's like uh, you ride it. It's a hobby it's like, or a rocking horse. horse. Rocking horse. That's what hobby it is. horse is the one yeah. you run around with, like between your legs. Yeah, hobby horses are fucking only nerds have that shit. Then cringe as shit. That is super gay, isn't it? Though, like I, I was like thinking about it, and I'm like, who the fuck? Like, what? If I went over there and someone's like, hey, let's play cowboys and Indians, and they like got on that, I'd be like, dude, you're a fucking nerd. <laughs> I feel it's, like that's uh, got to be generational, though. I, th I think you know, Andy I didn't know a one. single kid with one. Yeah, I think it was oh, a little before. Well, Andy is a fucking pussy, dude. Andy is a pussy. He has an absentee father. No one's around to show. <laughs> yeah, where is his man. dad? Yeah, you never see him, dude. If I had him. that fucking sweet piece of apple pie at home, I would never have left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sweet piece of apple pie. Oh, that's, that's just our next door neighbor, Sid. Don't mind him. <laughs> that's just our. That's our next door neighbor, Vlad. Hello. 
Rudy! Ach, Scheibe, du Bärenroll! Did you know the toys are moving? <laughs> oh, I'm going to rip the head off my sister's Barbies! <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel Arabic like the there. film would have done better. <laughs> yeah. I feel like... Uh, do you think uh, do you think Putin do you think he'd be happy to have Archer on his team or would he be like I don't want to have stupid rebellious uh, teammate Catman where's Chip Hazard Oh we go we go back to small soldiers Yeah I mean obviously obviously he would want the fucking <laughs> Okay sick so fucking... <laughs> Toy Store Putin is now a small soldier for the Gorgonites <laughs> And yeah, would yeah, there's want, no way would Putin he want is Archer be on his in team favor of the is that your question? <laughs> My name is my my name is uh, Archer, leader of the Gorgonites. I always liked the Ar- Archer. I always thought he was really cute. Was you go cute back guy. to Dagestan, Archer of Gorgonite. <laughs> oh, where is Chip Hazard? So you want to fight for oil? Well, we'll fight for oil, Archer of leader of Gorgonite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they yeah, well, I, I don't think they want I don't think they want oil. I think they just want peace. And they can shut the dead oil conspiracy. <laughs> oh, we get a peace through superior firepower, Arthur. I'm deeply uncomfortable. Where is Andy? Uh, my name is Archer. I am leader and cummy lord of the Gorgonites. Cummy lord? Cummy lord of the Gorgonites. Yeah, he was 100% coming in that weird, like, creature with one eye's mouth. He's probably the fucking the He's probably fucking the fucking kid there. <laughs> he's probably I fucking love you. the... I love that you, big, Barker. Like, <laughs> that weird, you know that weird, like, retarded-looking one with the giant jaw that's like... Hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> he, <laughs> even sound, he even sounds retarded. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, he's like, whatever you say, boy. <laughs> What's the c- Alan, don't listen to a word he says. If he says anything's <laughs> happened to him, he's lying. Archer's, he has a very Archer's the leader of the Gorgonites. Archer's the leader of the Gorgonites, and he loves taking Polaroid pictures of me, right? <laughs> don't you not you're not supposed to talk about that, Alan. <laughs> that's a secret of the Gorg that's the Gorgonite pack that we had. Do not talk about the pictures. The Gorgonite <laughs> pictures. <laughs> That is mission critical information, Alan. If, the, if Chip Hazard got his hands on that, it would spell ruin for the Gorgonites. Chip Hazard's actually just like an anti pedophile. Like, <laughs> son, you need to get out of there. <laughs> they will fuck you up, I swear to God. Oh, no, no it's Chip Hazard. Uh, Chip Hazard, you're such a brute. <laughs> you're such a big meanie, Chip. <laughs> What's the fuck? What Archer's told me all about you, Chip, you asshole. He's You're a to bad me. man. You're a bad, bad man. You're a bad guy, Chip. <laughs> You're getting raped. <laughs> like, he's just like, open your eyes. <laughs> I, he said I'm very mature for my age. And, and we're going to love each other forever, Chip. So why did you beat it? Get out of here. Go on. It's the Gor- it's the Gorgonite pack, Chip. You don't understand. <laughs> Love is beautiful, no matter the age or the form. Or the form, Chip. You <laughs> would never know such a love. <laughs> Dear God. Though Gorgonites did look fucked, though. <clears throat> they all look so fucked. Yeah. Hey, yeah, you do. There was also like a spider that just had eyes at the end talking. Yeah, the weird, weird alien one. That's the one I'm saying. He was coming yeah. in his mouth. I need it, you to bend over just had an eyeball. and spread your cheeks open, and we're going to take a picture of it. <laughs> oh, how, really? I, guess, I don't the know Sigour, about Sigour, all that. D- Remember, Alan, <laughs> the Gorgonite <laughs> the Gorgonite code. Never say Alan. no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Never what, speak to your parents. What do we that. say? No, <laughs> Never say no. Never say, never say, <laughs> never say no. Say no Alan. Never, <laughs> never, never, never say trust no. your elders, and no is a bad word. <laughs> never They're surrender. <laughs> you yeah we're your only friends we're the only people you can trust alan <laughs> yeah you're gonna listen to your stupid father after he poo-pooed your modern toy ideas 
<laughs> I don't want any of those goddamn modern toys in my house with my son. <laughs> <laughs> but you were right, Alan. You were right all along. Dad, would you just would you just sell Legos in the store to turn a profit? No, it's only old timey toys for me. You know that. That's why we have well, the hobby horse. Well, maybe because he knew the new ones were fucking rapey. Yeah. Do you even know, do you, son? Please tell me you haven't been playing with the Gorgonites. No, I'd never do that, Dad. Okay. <laughs> Remember, whatever I, whatever you do, the one thing I just, I need you to promise me is you never play with Archer of the Gorgonites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, Dad, I don't know who that is. It's fine. And he shuts the door, and then like, oh, you like Ar Archer like peek out from one of the covers. You did that very well, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you <did>. You're <laughs> a good boy, Alan. <laughs> you, you are a good boy, Alan. Of the Gorgonites. <laughs> Whoa! You need it? <laughs> <laughs> well, there is one final trial for us. <laughs> yeah, tell him about the final trial, boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chip Hazard's watching from the tree outside with like... No! <laughs> a little we gotta save that boy! Yeah. Get out of there, son! Small Soldiers Ruled. What a great movie, dude. They don't make cool kids movies like that anymore, do they? No. I feel like it's too fucking based in red pills. I think they were all practical, too. They just had, like, um, you know. Like There's a couple ones where it's like whenever it was like some. It was like a couple CGI, but nothing too crazy. I remember, I think Tommy Lee Jones voices Chip Hazard, too, which is yeah, sweet. Yeah, it looks I love like Tommy him. Lee Jones. I need to watch that. You know what? My uh, my concubine is out of town and feels like the perfect opportunity to watch a little bit of Small Soldiers. It's true. It is true. Gonna, Their gonna, designs gonna are pretty sweet, too. And, I forgot about I like this. the guy with the, like, the stubble and the cigar. Yeah, ah! I mean, the... the uh, yeah. The, the commandos or whatever were obviously way cooler than the... Commando! Guys. But even the Gorgonites, like I think their designs are all right. You shut the fuck awesome. up. Yeah, I like. Oh no, the, it's not uh, the guy with the fucking stubble. I like it's the guy with the mohawk. Yeah, and he gets stuffed in the um the garbage disposal. I like how this is not the first episode entirely about small soldiers of this fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Have we talked about small soldiers before? <laughs> we, we maybe every twenty episodes we. Talk about <laughs> small we round back on the fucking greatest <clears throat> sci-fi property of all time. Yeah, this was a good one though. Becoming a Gorgonite. See, dude, they all they all have mouths. What are you talking about? He could come in that weird little. Cyclops no, the one with mouth. the eyeball is just an eyeball. He doesn't. Yeah, know. he's no, just he's eyeballs with legs. Where's Does he? Mouth? Oh, there's oh. Why wasn't he included in this group shot? I found. We don't talk about eyeball. He doesn't have a mouth. <laughs> Therefore, he's useless. To because talk because, and I call him because he's yeah. a part of the uh, he's a part of the conspiracy part where he does all their nasty work, but he can't be seen he in see, public. He sees all. He's fucking. He's the lookout for sure. Wasn't the weird little orange one on like the rhino guy's back the only girl? Like they refer to that one as a female. We take turns with Stephanie. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, this, this is our newest member, Vladimir Putin. <laughs> I can't wait to be a Gorgonite. <laughs> well, you have to first to complete the test, just as Alan did before you, Vlad. Bend over, unbuckle your pads, and spread your cheeks. We will take and a series us, of photos. Put us inside. <laughs> Put us as far yeah. in as we will go. We Defeat will, first, we will, please. We will, we will crawl. <laughs> we will crawl through your small intestines in search of our yeah, homeland. Feet, feet first, and we'll grab onto each other's ankles as we get pushed in. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a monkey a barrel. <laughs> a barrel of monkeys. <laughs> this is how we make it fun for children. But I can see you are young at heart, Mr. Putin. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, that movie would be so much more successful. I would watch it twice. I think that Marvel needs to just buy the small soldiers' rights and uh, make it a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Holy shit. It's got Kirsten Dunst in it. Yeah, young, young Kirsten Dunst. 
It's crazy. What a fucking, you know, she was one of the like, I feel like there was an era of Hollywood woman who was very much like not that hot and they tried to portray them as like <clears throat> sexy. And she's like firmly <clears throat> in that category. I think Kristen Dunst is sexy. No, you don't. Oh, I do. Absolutely, I do. Especially in this, especially in Spider Man, the first yeah, Spider Man movie. Her out. I get you, but she just, yeah, nipples. I mean, I just feel like she doesn't stack up compared Hi, to. Hi, Pete. Hi, Mary Jane. Hi, Pedo. Hello. You better, you better watch out because my pussy gets really wet. Okay, thanks, Mary Jane. God, I love her. You're not the only one who could make webs, Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> is that Putin? Is that supposed to be Putin? No, that's Mary no, Jane. Yeah, no, oh, I mean, surprise! <laughs> I am actually Putin. Yeah, you, you never really knew that I was actually a seventy-three-year-old dictator. It's Putin running through the rain with his nips poking through his fucking white tank top, whatever the fuck she was Putin wearing. Putin definitely has a definitely has a beer can cock, dude. Yeah, splits open Peter Parker like it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, this you know, is going to hurt you, you a lot more rhino, than it's going to hurt me. Once you beat Doc Ock, the rhino, the fucking lizard, like who's left but fucking judo, but judo rapist, fucking, Vladimir Putin. But all fucking, yeah, beer can Putin. <laughs> beer can Putin. Is it like a 500 mil can or like one of those? It's like a Foster's. Was? Like a Foster's. No, okay. <laughs> like the fucking most industrial large size can there is. <laughs> the full snack is Australian for me. Which is that's such a good slogan. What a good what a great slogan. Yeah. You gotta give it to him. X go and give it to you. Marketing. Oh no, there's there's a there's a fucking another folk mm. hero that just Ugh. doesn't get enough recognition. Who? DMX. DMX, I agree. I really love how he would growl and bark like a dog. His dog and hell is hot. Why haven't we gone on an AI adventure with fucking small soldiers? What do you mean? Small soldiers as real people. Oh. That would be tight. That would do numbers. Hmm. There's a vid- there's a video I did for you. God, I can't. I don't know how you do it, bro. But it's really difficult to. <laughs> Today I'm gonna uh, make small soldiers into real people through AI. Whoa, ha! Huh, that's crazy. Anyway, uh, this video is sponsored by Squarespace, the uh, best place to get your website. Okay, now back to yeah. Cha-ching. Hey, I, I, if I could, I would. I just Cha-ching. don't know how. Make money, money, make money, money, money. Yeah. Take it, we're today, a today, to I'm going to be. Go on. Today, I'm going to be a small soldier. That's just my video. Today, I'm going to be. Today, I'm going to be a, a small soldier. That's pretty good. Why did they never make a fucking sequel, dude? I think it would have sucked. Did did the movie did the movie make money? <laughs> hmm. Good question. Probably not, because like CG back then, that was probably, you know, the most expensive movie ever made. This is gonna hit, I, I swear. <clears throat> I feel like not a lot of people that I knew had the figurines and stuff. Like I liked I I bought Ar- I bought Archer and I had Ship Hazard when I was younger. So the movie worked wonders on me for like, we're going to like make this movie. And then also you can actually buy the toys. Man, the fucking. The really bad reviews. Fuck run. What'd they say? Losers. 49%. And 45% audience score. So evidently 55%. Everyone sucked. I don't know how you could not like that movie. I did, I did like uh, <coughs> profitable. 90 million, yeah, box office. Pretty cool. Oh, How much did it cost? Well, yeah, says, I don't know. Uh, but the thing is, it wasn't CGI. 71. They made like puppets and stuff. So, well, It was 100% CGI. No, they, like the whole film, maybe, but like there was oh, CGI that, all over the place. 
I mean, obviously yeah. there was some CGI, but the things that they did practical are surprising. Like they made, they made those toys and put like um. They made Alan spread his asshole. Yeah, for real. <laughs> and they got the little Frankenstein guy to like hold a camera, you know. And that was. How do I use this, boss? You need you need to tilt the camera down more. Okay. I yeah. can't wait to get these developed. <laughs> we need more light. <laughs> All night. It's the fucking, it's the fucking windy up cameras because I didn't have DSLRs. Yeah, but yo. Yeah. Eh, 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 eh. Click. Can't wait to look at Alan's asshole in fucking six months when I get these back from Fujifilm. Oh yeah, you take a uh, great uh, film from Fujifilm. We had, we did Kodak. We had Kodak. Well, I yeah, think it's, it's not bad. Kodak. Forty million that. budget. And it made like 70 million. They should have made a sequel. Probably like marketing is not factored into that though, right? I don't know. I don't really know. They sold a bunch of toys too. I remember I had the toys. That's what I'm saying, dude. I remember I, I fucking, I, I got those hook, line, and sinker, dude. Mm-hmm. Hook, line, stinker. That's what I should have said. I like that. I had a chip hazard and I, or maybe it was Archer, but I tried to use Warhammer paints to make him look cooler, like in the movie, and just fucked him up. Mm. You know, because the, when you bought the toys that weren't as detailed, obviously. Didn't look as That's, nice. That is a very you thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> I respect it. Mine could look way better. It could look These awesome. fucking amateurs. And then the, show when I play with you. them, it'll be cooler. Yeah. <laughs> then, then all the women will think that I'm sexy. Yeah. Stop ruining the paint job, Justin! Justin, don't touch this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's probably a real conversation. Justin, don't touch this. Oh, my God. I'm serious, Justin. <laughs> I'm fucking serious. <laughs> Dude, the Warhammer paints alone would be like hundred bucks. So I yeah. would be done on this one. <sighs> Your cousin, there's definitely a fingerprint. Justin definitely went in and touched it. <laughs> God damn! It. You're basically like the fucking fixer guy from Toy Story. I look like him. If I was bald, I would look a lot like him. Oh no, not him. That oh, the, the expert. Like him, he though. comes in. He brings. Yeah, in the expert. Oh, the old man, right? The old man, and that old man does kind of look like Don. That's crazy. Gotta look this up, right? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, they look like like Don when he was seven years old. Perfect. Oh yeah, dude, that is Don. Fucking come on. No, it is. No, bro, this is you with your warhammers. Fucking tell me it's not. Look at this. <laughs> oh, it's not me. Yeah. I didn't. It's not me. Uh, That's not who I am. Well, he was. They. I think Pixar lifted that model from like a short they made of him playing chess. He's he Hunter was, after releasing. His oh fourth yeah, yeah, yeah. Puppy very video nice in a week. chess short. What are you saying about Hunter? I said, I said he's Hunter after releasing his fourth to seventh Papa Meat video in one week. When I when I uh, release my <laughs> when I make my Funko Pop channel. Yeah. <laughs> this is you after another, another eighty million dollars. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. That's right. <laughs> Sometimes I go through a rough time, and I need Sometimes. better help to help. Sometimes I want to kill myself because of the stuff that I make on this channel. <laughs> That's okay. With better help, I do a lot better with with my mind. I can't, I, I hear that better help does not help anybody. It in hmm. fact, makes you want to kill yourself even more. It actually is dog. That's shit. That's a perfect product, and I don't. Yeah, it's uh, that, that, it. uh, unironically perfect product for making money. Mm-hmm. You get the people hooked on the thing that they you you become like you, they they need it. Yeah. Wait, yeah, I don't know. No, I mean, I, the, I, the, I, the, there's the therapists no, that, I mean, that get her dog true. shit, and then they have you on, like, a carousel of looking for a new one, you know? 
Yeah, I can't imagine that. Uh, <coughs> no, well, uh, no, well, with their as my channel sponsor, I think that it's actually really good. So Are you actually I'm actually a channel by? sponsor. Oh yeah, I'm, I've been sponsored by BetterHelp before. Okay. Hello, my friend. I hear you are having a bad day. <laughs> Hi, Raj. Yes, I am. Oh, that is so terrible. How may I help you today? Uh, I just wanted to hear your voice, Raj. Miss you, man. Thank you. That is very <laughs> kind of you to say such that. <laughs> it sounds like I'm his therapist. <laughs> <laughs> I've really been having a bad day. I got caught uh, by that guy on YouTube who puts glitter in <laughs> packages and sends them to call uh, centers. Mark, <laughs> Mark Rober got you. Oh, yeah. that son of a bitch. I didn't know his name. I, th I thought you were going to say, I, Kid Boga totally made me look like a fool on his stream. Who the fuck is Kit Boga? Is Kit Boga is the guy who does uh, scammers. Or oh, yeah, there you go. That, that guy. Mm -hmm. I just can't remember any of their names. Is that yeah. a different guy from the package bomb guy? Yeah, Mark Rober is like a nerdy I thought Mr. He let Beast. I thought he let like cockroaches go in the Indian office. What? I don't know about all that. Kid Boga is like, his whole thing is he's trying to keep the Indian telephone scammers on their phone call as long as he can. It's oh, like waste right. as much of their time. It's no, really, really funny, actually. There was a guy who actually, like, like tracked down the Indian scamming places and he fucking had cockroaches released into the buildings, which is kind of like, you know. I mean, that's awesome I, too. But. It's pretty impressive. He had like a guy on the inside. I don't know. I'll tell you about the building secret, but no cockroach in my coffee, okay? Like, what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Anyway, that was my bad day. <laughs> it it do is. They do that 100% go from giving like tech support to people with a new like Dell XPS to being a better help therapist. They just like switch between the different calls they receive, a million percent. I think it's more just like mediocre therapists without clientele that don't really pay attention to you, you know? What does it mean? <laughs> They're just on their phone that whole time. They're like, uh-huh. Yeah. No, literally. I, mm, I tried wild. better help a couple years ago, and I, I quit the whole thing because the motherfucker was like going through drawers while I was talking to him. <laughs> you got to find something, dude. And and we had so achieved. Two, or or you're talking about your Warhammer figurines too long. Yeah, yeah, well, who else am I supposed to talk to? Well, no one. I mean, I told sad. Justin not to touch it, but when I came back in, the fingerprint was clearly there. So he definitely did. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was the uh, must have been hard for you for that, huh? Yes, hey, it was. I'm, I'm paying for this social service. Yeah, you better fucking. Yeah, that is true. Exactly. Stop, hey, stop fucking around in your desk and tell me I'm right. Exactly. He tell he, me I'm he right. chose this career and this life to to listen to me whine about Warhammer. And instead, to listen to your wine about Wama. Do you know how hard people have it in my country and I have to listen to you ingrates every day? <laughs> Next, you will tell me you didn't even get the Wii in year one. <laughs> if I have to hear that one more goddamn time. Your father is a disappointment to you and is a disappointment to, to his. A, he is a disappointment to me as a person who is a, the master of your clientele. Such a shithead. I cut so deep. Huh? I, I really remember thinking, like, come on, can we just get this this one <laughs> yeah, nice Dad, thing when fuck? it comes out? <laughs> the first Dad, I can I it. just get one? Me, meanwhile, I have, I like, every win, console Dad? before this, you know? But I, I just, I've got a chip on my shoulder because so many other kids, um, I know will get it day one and I will be, I will hate them and be pissed off at them, you know? <laughs> Why'd yeah. you want the Wii? I feel like you did you yeah, not want the Xbox? The, Dude, I already like, had, how I already had you the, the Xbox. Wii came out as well. You must the have Wii. been kind of old when the Wii came out. No, I was in, be getting that mad. Would have been in the uh, middle school, I think. What year? Surely you must have been like the, the Wii. The Wii 14. came out probably like what 2009? Like what? It was like around the same time as like the PS3 and. So that's and what you're 92, so you would have been 14. Yeah. Yeah, but they have red steel. No, oh, fucking Wii. Smash Bros. Ultimate's coming out, or whatever. And they have it was. So Smash Bros. Ultimate. They on have too. thirteen. You know, with the the, the gun game thirteen. It was gonna have every character right. in the whole universe in that game. You Dude, that's to play uh, as Goku. You were way too old to be a little prick about. <laughs> <laughs> Forty <laughs> years old in your fucking onesie, in your pajama onesie. Come on, Bob! Wake up! Wake up! 
jumping it's up either, and down on the on the bed. Well, we're trying to save it for your card a couple of years. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> just give me the steering wheel accessory for the weed that's under the tree. Well, yeah, I know the packaging. Tell you, buddy. I know what the packaging looks like, okay? So don't try <laughs> to fuck me around because I've been measuring boxes <laughs> all my life, bitch. <laughs> Literally, you go to Walmart and in like a little box thing. You go to Walmart, you, 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 appro- you out, approximate Bob. the box size, yeah. And then when it comes to Christmas, you see that same box size and <laughs> Justin's Justin's just like fucking like a 19 year old upstairs in his room. He's, he's, he's like 12 or 11. <laughs> Justin, please be quiet already. <laughs> You're being so fucking loud. No, I'm uh, trying I'm trying to you- wake him up to come open Christmas. <laughs> yeah, Justin! Wake up! <laughs> We gotta play double dash. <laughs> I never even got to play double dash. I never got a GameCube either. Oh! No, nah, we had a GameCube. Why game. you hate me, Mom? We had a GameCube. Why are you hating me? Am I even gonna get a Wii U? What is your problem? I bought myself the Wii U. That was a big adult Wii moment for me <laughs> in college. I think that was the first console I bought for myself. What? Yo. I can't believe I was able to save two hundred and fifty. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dollars. I didn't have a job. Well I, well, I did caricatures at like a fair, but yeah, that was a big deal for me. <laughs> well, I did I do caricatures. At- this, <laughs> and you rubbed it in her face too. Hey, I got it with my own buddy, I guess. Day one! I can, day I one. Don't want to be a failure, Bob! <laughs> I can play it as long as I want because I bought it! I can't even hear your fucking. Your mic is gating. Autistic screeching. Uh, <laughs> it's funny, though, too, because, like, I feel like all kids are like that, too. It's like. <laughs> The most fucking like first world problems of a child. Well, Travis down the road has an Xbox 360 and he's playing Lost Planet. And I'm still playing Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. I look like a fucking loser. On PS2. Go fuck yourself, Bob. Yeah, exactly. You're a fucking bitch. Yeah. That's how that's how first world country children talk to their parents do. They're just like, go fuck yourself, you uppity. <laughs> All right, Don. I know that I know that you're upset, but fuck you, you fucking bitch. It's like <laughs> Well, especially if you have like mild autistic tendencies and you like that's what all the kids are talking about, and you have no context to contribute to the conversation. You know? Like you're destroying my social life because you can't. Get yeah, you, shit you alienate your own friends group by being so fucking insufferable about the fact that everyone else got a win. <laughs> and that's exactly. the case too. It's like, exactly. I'm sure well, you have four of them. And that's, you know what? That's just how it goes. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get a Wii. Well, it must be nice to have parents who love you. I don't yep. know what that's like. I wish that was me. But it's not. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucked up. You Absolutely fucked. <laughs> like, I like him saying that. This is absolutely <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I just wanted to play Wii Tennis. That's too much to fucking ask, Bob. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It was Wii Tennis, and it was those little Wii games. I forget what it was yeah. with the tanks. Yeah, all my friends are talking about playing Wii Sports, and I don't know what the fuck is that about. <laughs> what the fuck like, is that? <laughs> Mom. What is that? What do you even do with that game? She's like, it's probably you play sports, Don. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people play bowling. We can never go bowling. She's like, you, we can go to the bowling alley tonight. That's not what I mean, you bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know, exactly you, know what what I mean. Uh, you know exactly what the fuck I mean. You like fuck, you like act like you like like get the stance up and you're gonna punch her. <laughs> it is oh baby, up. do it. Oh baby, fucking what? do it. <laughs> don't, don't make me do it. I'm, I'm, I'm glowing, Bob. I don't know if you'll notice, but the, the <laughs> line on 
let the dwarf wave get it higher and higher <laughs> every year. And please I wonder, do. You can have some serious problems. I wonder how many, I wonder how many times someone has like gone up to their mom and just be like, you guys, I could kill you right now, right? <laughs> I could kill. I could honestly kill you as hard as I could ever. <laughs> And, and it would Don, be so easy. Probably quite often. <laughs> it would be so easy. I'd be drawing could, a lot of pictures, actually. You want to see? Yeah. <laughs> you want to see my pictures I draw? Yeah, you don't even want to do that because you know that I'm way more talented than you. And you're jealous. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> fun. That'd be such a funny thing for a kid to say. You're just jealous because I'm way fucking cooler than you are, bitch. <laughs> it's like, all right, thank you. There's the lovely pictures of you stabbing and raping me. I had a uh, I had a friend who used to punch holes in his walls, and I was like, it was always just like the most embarrassing thing being his friend. I fucking I hated like it. Hey, it if just we like, go to it, your house tonight, can you maybe not punch some holes in the wall? Well, he like literally he punched a hole in his wall because his mom did buy him Ninja Gaiden like two or whatever the fuck it was or three <laughs> or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> And then he like got mad about that, punched a hole in his wall, and then he played it and he couldn't beat it because that game is like ridiculous. I was gonna hard. say, but you didn't even and beat then, the first one yet. Oh, it's a fucking impossible, mom! <laughs> mom, it's fucking impossible! <laughs> you always you love to throw me. that in my face, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you always love to throw that right back in my face that I haven't you beat the have fucking Ninja game. Gaiden 2 until you finish your Ninja Gaiden 1. That's the, that's the promise you I'll made. Do what remember? I want, bitch! <laughs> I'll do what I want, bitch! Why it's you an, fucking hate me? It's an impossible fucking game, and you know it. But I'm addicted. <laughs> but I'm fucking addicted. Uh, yeah, no, I, uh, yeah. That was always just so cringy, though. Being like, you ever be at one of your friends' houses and it, they, they're like, they're fighting their parents? Yeah, but then you grow up and find out their parents are like heroin addicts. Literally. I never time. had that happen. I've never had it happen <laughs> that where like the Boy, parents are in the wrong, usually. The, the, the kids, yeah, then you grow the, up and you find out that they're like, like sex traffickers or something. Yeah, I mean the kids, <laughs> the kids I knew that punched holes in walls. There was always something kind of funky like that going on. Something I feel like every it. kid who had a rough life was just kind of did like did drugs. I don't think I ever met somebody who like had like a rough upbringing who was just like I'm punching a hole in my wall. Usually it was spoiled kids. Yeah, spoiled thing too. Spoiled heroin addict kids or <laughs> spoiled spoiled, spoiled children of heroin, heroin addicts. Yeah. <laughs> I have these vices, but I can still buy my kid every new game system. My my cousin was uh, like, he wouldn't punch holes in walls, but he would like rip the N64 cartridge like out of it and fucking hurl it at the wall as hard as he could. That <laughs> yeah, was you know what? Justin was of kind of that kid too. He'd smash Xbox controllers. It was fucking annoying. It's probably just on lulls whenever his fucking balls weren't empty. Yeah. <laughs> this is fucking hor- gay! I <laughs> hate video <laughs> games! He's all horny and shit, usually having sex with tons of chicks, and all of a sudden now he can't, so he's like playing Quake 3 on Nintendo 64, <laughs> having a fucking mental breakdown. Oh, I guess I'm like my fucking brother now. <laughs> <laughs> God, he, Don's like you, uh, lucky, lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club, little bro. <laughs> I love, I love the the, I love the saying, little bro. <laughs> I bet you really look up to your big brother, huh? Yeah, I kind of do some deep pictures. I was petitioning for both of us. Being a little shit, he would have gotten to play that Wii. You Come know? on, Justin, just get outside. You want to play with your team? He's like, I just want to. I want to play. I want to play baseball, and I want to like hang on my friends. No, you want <laughs> to play Red Steel on the Wii. <laughs> <laughs> you can hold your controller like a satellite on. Come on. I don't want to do that. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I don't know. I think you do. It's got a pretty good reviews. You realize next year I'm going to be able to drive us to McDonald's anytime, <laughs> right? Oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, fuck. Uh, I just, yeah. I didn't come online yet, you know? I, I was still cooking. 
from yeah. Yeah. Time. fucking 19 years old. Yep. Good man. Don't let the distractions get to you. Exactly. Exactly. And yeah, who has the big YouTube that's, channel now? You know what that is? That's like, yeah. That's, that's nine extra years of warning Macromedia Flash. My brother works for me now. How the table's <laughs> toiled. <laughs> toiled. How the table's How the toiled. Toiled. <laughs> How they told you, my favor. You should have gone inside, Justin, and help me get the Wii. <sighs> I, I like so the idea. Funny. Just it's for so the funny. How Flash gets C at like headquarters. It's a 300 fucking story building. Justin dons at the very top floor. Yeah, he's the janitor. Justin's, Justin's, Justin's asking for a raise or whatever. And he's just like, well, well, well. <laughs> Look who decided to crawl back to his wall. I'll give you a ways, <laughs> Dustin. If you could beat me for it in a game of Wii Tennis. <laughs> If you can beat me for it. He's got his God. fucking golden plated weed. <laughs> Boy, I hope you practiced all these years, because I sure have. That would be that would be the fucking best. <laughs> uh, I've never really played this game. Oh. <laughs> But you have. <laughs> but you have. You've been you playing it your whole life. Your whole life. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You and Mom, with me in the middle, is the ball. Back yeah, the and mom. forth. Back and forth. <laughs> Their mom is crucified on the wall. Her dead body is <laughs> just hanging. <laughs> I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time. He's like, fucking discarded he's like, Big Mac like, rappers everywhere. He's like, do you, do you even have a TV that's compatible with these weak cords? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I've been gaming on the same TV for a long time. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, man. What I wouldn't give, hey? Uh, God, yeah. it's good stuff. What you wouldn't give <laughs> for the world to be yeah, that, even that, a be little bit that colorful. The world to yeah. be like that, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Well, what a good episode of Cream Crew. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>